don't care. Yes! Zonio whips a bounce pass on the money. Fabulous. Welcome to the Best Sports Podcast. I'm your host, Rakia Williams. On today's show, I'll be speaking on the gender wage gaps in professional sports. Throughout this podcast, I interview several students here at Georgia State University and ask some questions pertaining to gender wage gaps in athletics to get some insight from their perspective. Why is it that men get paid significantly more than women do playing professional sports? Well, one of the reasons I think that men get paid more than women is because, one, men bring more into the game. So, for instance, they sell more jerseys, they're able to sell more tickets, and the world just thinks that a men's games, whether it's baseball, football, whatever, is more exciting than women's sports. And I also think women's sports are not... Um, what's the word? They're not broadcast or put on social media as much as the men are, so it's harder for fans to want to come out to women's sports because they don't they don't broadcast or advertise the women's game as much as they do. Well, a lot of people don't really want to see girls play like masculine sports. They like to see men do masculine things because they are known to be masculine. So when they see girls trying to do it, I guess they just feel like they don't they don't look right. So- well, one of the founded principles of the American dream is that hard work and dedication brings success. However, this premise doesn't often translate into wage and inequality based on gender. For example, male and female athletes invest equal amounts of dedication, talent, and sacrifice, but their efforts aren't compensated at the same rate. Why is that? Because marketers focus more on male athletes, which increases their exposure and provides them with increased earning potential compared to women. When being advertised, men are shown based off their ability, whereas women are seen as sex symbols. Shown here is the different pay gaps between three men and women sports associations, starting with professional golf, tennis, and basketball. The income gap between men and women has been well publicized, with women earning on average of 70% of what male counterparts earn. However, the gap is much wider in the world of elite sports, where female athletes earn just a fraction of what men earn in the same profession. In the year 2014, female golfers earned $811,000 less than what men earned. Tennis is one of the few sports where women on average make more than men. However, the top female makes less than 54% of the top male tennis player earnings. On average, female basketball players earn 1.6 of the male's salary. Because of the lack of advertisement of professional women athletes, people do not show up to games to support them. The attendance in women high school and college games a lot of the times are greater than the attendance at professional women game. Why is that? Because in high school, kids don't really have as many options on entertainment, so going to games for them is a good place to socialize with others. And in many colleges, with an engaged strong student body system, They attend sports games as a way to show school spirit and pride. Spectators and advertisers don't take women's sports seriously. People believe that women just play for fun. So making it into a career is just one big joke for them. Women's sports doesn't receive attention for their talents, but instead they're exploited based on their looks rather than talent. In society, women are raised and taught to be sweet, elegant, and to observe on the sidelines to support their men. To play in the sport, to be acting like a man in society's eyes. For example, with women's professional tennis players Serena Williams and Maria Sharapova, in 2015, an article came out stating that Maria Sharapova makes $10 million more in endorsements than Serena Williams. 
But how is this possible when Maria Sharapova has only won five Grand Slam titles compared to Serena Williams' 25 Grand Slam titles? I'll tell you why. People have discredited Serena Williams' talents based off her muscular frame and have said things like how much of a man she looks like and how she should be more feminine. Whereas for Maria Sharapova, they consider her to be the blonde, sexy woman that everyone should look like. Discrimination based on gender is unethical. We need to start with advertising a woman at a young age as we would a male so people will see there is no difference in the athletic abilities of a male than a woman. People will start to have more respect for women's sports when they see that women work just as equally hard as a man does to perform well in professional sports. We should strive for women's sports to be valued just as much as the men's. And that's it for today. 